Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well out there today. Uh, in our last video, we took a look at how to install Chasm workspaces on Ubuntu. And uh, in this video, I wanna expand on that just a little bit and show a couple of different ways to gain remote access to your Chasm workspace setup. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take a look at how to set up a domain name to access Chasm workspaces via uh, your own domain name using Nginx Proxy Manager and Cloudflare. The other way we're gonna take a look at how to access this remotely is actually using something that we talked about uh, several months ago called Zero Tier. Uh, we're gonna take a look at both of those methods today. Uh, I will try to have timestamps down below so you can access uh, either of those, whichever you prefer to do on your setup. Um, but I think with all that being said, let's jump over to my desktop and take a look at how how to get remote access set up on Chasm workspaces. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. We can see that we've got Chasm workspaces up and running uh, on a local IP address. That's uh, you know 1.208. And then we've got another couple of tabs open for uh, Cloudflare and Nginx Proxy Manager. Uh, both of those are ready to go for us. So we can just jump right into uh, what we're gonna do here. So first things first, uh, let's go over to Cloudflare. Um, I'm gonna put this on my dnb.wtf domain. Uh, what I am gonna do though is set this up on a CNAME record and I'm just gonna call this chasm because uh, you know, I'm super original like that. Uh, I'm gonna put this as at like so, so that we can see the, the, the URL will be chasm.dnb.wtf. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this uh, as the status as proxied because I've already created uh, an SSL certificate and imported it in to Nginx Proxy Manager. I will have uh, a link to how I did that in the description down below. Uh, this is, uh, if you watch the video about, you know, fit, uh, SSLs that don't expire for 15 years or up to 15 years, I, I used that method to create my SSL uh, in Nginx Proxy Manager. So because I've done that, I can actually leave this proxy status as proxy, not DNS only. So once we've got this, uh, we're good to go. I can go ahead and click on save right here. So now we've got chasm.dnb.wtf. So the next thing I wanna do is come over to Nginx Proxy Manager, and I want to add a proxy host. Uh, my domain name will be chasm.dnb.wtf, and I'll press enter. My scheme in this case, because we're running a, a self-signed certificate that on port 443, I, I'd wanna change this scheme from HTTP to HTTPS. The IP address will be the IP address of uh, the Chasm server. So 192.168.1.208. And again, like I mentioned a moment ago, this does run on port 443. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I wanna block common exploits and I'll allow WebSocket support. And then we'll come over to SSLs and I'm going to drop this down. I'm just gonna to go to dnb.wtf and I'm going to force uh, SSL and HTTP2 support. Uh, if you've got HSTS enabled, go ahead and enable those. Uh, I don't actually know if mine is enabled, so I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, but if you've got it enabled, go ahead and check those boxes as well and click save. Cool, so now we've got that. And right here uh, is uh, the one that was just created October 27th. Um, at, at 1.208 on port 443. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And here we are, we're logged in. Um, and this is fine, but let's, let's. this isn't gonna work. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, it looks like it's working. We're at chasm.dnb.wtf. We've got our SSL, everything's valid, everything works. But if we come over here, uh, let's just launch a Brave instance and click launch. Everything looks good so far. Uh, so we'll give this just another moment and it's gonna fail. Trying real hard, uh, but just any, there it goes. Now it went ahead and failed. So if I come back over to here, uh, we can see that it should have just booted me into, uh, into that application and it didn't. So what I wanna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that just so that we don't have any confusion later. So we'll give that a second to delete. And what we wanna do is actually come back over here um, to our admin panel. We wanna come over to zones. Uh, then we're gonna open up uh, this default zone. Yours should look just like this. We're gonna click edit. So right over here on these three dots, we're gonna click edit. And then right here for the upstream uh, auth address, we're gonna put in the server's IP address. So that's at 192.168.1.208. Just like that, we're gonna go ahead and click on submit. Now let's come back over here to our workspaces. We're gonna launch Brave again. We'll click launch. And all of a sudden now everything works. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on allow just like that. So uh, that's that's really it. That's the only trick there is to getting uh, Chasm workspaces to work uh, in a remote way like this with a domain name and whatnot. Uh, you just have to go in, let's go ahead and can't come out of here. Uh, we're gonna delete that session, that's fine. Um, 
but if you've, if you've been trying to do this and you haven't been able to, uh, the trick is to go over to zones and make sure that your, uh, your default zone has your server's IP address in the upstream auth address spot. So again, if I click submit, that's fine. Let's come back over to here. Let's just pick something else. Uh, let's just do only office. We'll click launch session. Uh, again, we'll give this a second to spin up this container. Uh, it shouldn't take too awful long here. And just like that, now we're able to access uh, this container once it fully loads uh, without any issues here. So uh, d doing the Nginx proxy manager, the reverse uh, the reverse proxy Cloudflare thing, super, super easy. As long as you know that one little trick of the upstream auth address being your server's IP address. Okay guys, so in this section of the video, what I wanna show is how to set up zero tier on Chasm Workspace. This is actually pretty simple, uh, but let's just jump in and show you how to set up uh, zero tier on Chasm for a different way to access your Chasm Workspaces remotely. So here we are, we're back on our dashboard here. Uh, we will need to SSH into our server like I've done here, uh, but what I wanna do is actually just run uh, this simple command right here. Uh, this is just to install uh, via SSL. So what I'll do is just right click and click paste put in my password like that. So now it's gonna go ahead and run through this process here. So you will wanna make sure that you have a zero tier network set up uh, for the next step of this. Uh, if you've seen my other zero tier uh, videos, just go ahead and follow along with that. If you haven't, again, link will be in the description down below on how to set up a zero tier network. A few moments later. Okay, so uh, our zero tier uh, installation here on Chasm is done and uh, we've got a, a thing down here at the bottom. Let me um, do, do, do right here. Success, your zero tier address. And then there's that that string of characters right there. And that's great. Uh, we're gonna need that here in a moment uh, just to verify some things. So the next thing that we wanna do is actually, um, do, do, do. tell you what, let's do this. Let's just make sure uh, that our status is, what? Oh, huh. run that as sudo or sudo like that. There we go. So it shows that we are online, that's good. So the next thing that we wanna do um, is, is actually come over to here and right up here at the top, this is my network ID. Now again, uh, I, I set this up uh, really months ago at this point, but uh, what we wanna do is just copy that. We're gonna need that for uh, the next command that we're gonna run, which will be uh, zero, oops, we're gonna write this as sudo, zero tier dash CLI join space and we're gonna paste in that network ID and click enter 200 join okay that's good so now if we scroll back down we can see that we've got one two three four five we've got five uh, clients on this network at the moment so we're gonna go ahead and refresh and then we're gonna scroll back down I'll have to blur some of that stuff out <clears throat> right here I believe let's verify that do 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 uh it's gonna end in 3424. Uh, which is gonna be this one right here. So I'm gonna check that box. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, just type in uh, chasm. And then just for my own identifier, I'm gonna type in two, oops, 208, like so. And uh, that's it. That's all we have to do at that point. So uh, what we're gonna do then is I'm going to copy this IP address right here uh, for that server. I'm gonna come over to here. I'm gonna do HTTPS like that. I'm gonna paste that in. Oh, 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 you know what? It helps. It helps um, if I connect to my server on this computer. I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. All right, so your network changed, that's fine. Give this just a second to connect, there we go. Okay, so now we're back to what we saw uh, on the first video when we tried to access this on an IP address. We're gonna go ahead and click advanced and we'll say proceed. And that's fine, I'll go ahead and get logged in here. Okay, so here we are on our dashboard. We're accessing this again via that IP address right there. Um, so basically now at this point, we should be able to uh, click on like say Chrome for instance and launch session. And hopefully this should work uh, without any issues here at all. And there we go. Now Chrome is up and working. Uh, let's, let's, just, let's, just click, let's just click a link to make sure that it wasn't a fluke. Um, that's fine, we don't care about that right now. So now that we've seen that we can access this uh, via an IP address on zero tier, 
And in the first part of the video, we took a look at how to access this via a domain name. Let's see if we can actually run both of those simultaneously. Now, I haven't actually tried this yet, so we're gonna learn this together. So let's go, go back over to here. Let's go to our zero tier uh, over to here. Let's, let's destroy uh, this session and click delete. We'll give this a second to load and do its thing. Now we're gonna come back over here to admin. Uh, we're gonna go to zones. We're going to edit this zone by clicking the three dots over here on the right and clicking edit. And then for the upstream auth address, we're gonna type in 192.168.1.208 1, because that is the actual IP address of the uh, uh, server on the local network. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and click on submit. And then let's come back over here to workspaces. Let's pick something else that we haven't launched yet. Uh, let's, try, let's try Firefox. Go ahead and launch that and we'll see what happens. Okay, that's a good sign. That means that we're able to access the, uh, the access Firefox on zero tier, even though we've changed the IP address of the upstream auth to a different IP address. So that's good. So in theory then, if I type in chasm.dn, oops, dnb.wtf, let's see if we get it to work this way as well. If we'll go to workspaces, Ooh. Okay, so I wondered about that. Because uh, we've got a different uh, network interface uh, running via zero tier, unfortunately, it's not going to work uh, with Cloudflare in this particular instance. Uh, it kind of looks like we're gonna have to pick and choose. Of course, uh, you guys seem to be way smarter about a lot of this stuff than I am. So if you find a way to be able to access Chasm workspaces on both a zero tier network as well as a domain name, definitely let me know. Uh, either put it in the comment section down below, uh, send me an email, you can find my email on the about section of of my YouTube page. Um, definitely let me know if you know a way to do both. So uh, there's a couple of different ways that you can access uh, your, your Chasm workspaces, whether it's again, via a domain name or via zero tier, whichever way you wanna do it. Hopefully uh, this will help you be able to do that in the future. Uh, again, this is only the second video in this series. So if you're interested in more content about Chasm workspaces, definitely let me know uh, by subscribing. Uh, you maybe give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what you're interested in and we'll definitely see if we can take a look at that. But I think with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.